Hi David, nice to see you today. Uh, I just want to remind you about the two main um, areas we discussed in today's lesson. Uh, the first one is down to your alignment. The, if you look here on the screen on the right hand side, the yellow line just to the top of your head is indicating the target that you're aiming for. And the two yellow lines, one on your feet and the other one um, on your shoulder line is just indicating where your body alignment was um, at the start of the session. So we were saying there or indicating that you was aiming your body a little bit too far to the left, which was then creating a, a, a path um, of the club either coming a little bit outside um, to inside in relation to your target with a slightly open club phase creating um, that phase shot that you're hitting. And then also if you've got the club phase a little bit closed, um, you're hitting the pull shot. So what we suggested was for you to square your body up a little bit more, so you just change the colour, uh, square your body up a little bit more, so we'll get you aiming your feet and your shoulders a little bit square to the target, so we suggested there that you've got a tram line, um, the outside line is your ball to target line, the inside line is your body alignment, but we're looking to be a lot more square to that target, so when you make a more natural swing past your body with the correct swing path and the correct club face alignment, you're going to hit much better shots more towards your target. The other part of the swing that we looked at was the um, <clears throat> the path of the swing as you're sort of coming into impact and then just after impact. So we're looking mainly at um, that left elbow and what that left elbow is causing um, to the path of the swing itself. So if we just have a look at that swing, Delivering the club into the boards in a good position and a good path, then once it goes through impact and into that follow through position, you just see as your left elbow there just kind of works its way backwards and pops out there at your side, which what we suggested there with combining that with the misalignment or a slightly open body position, and that pulling action there of your left elbow, we create a little bit more movement. Um, on the inside creating that fade spin. Um, we'll probably have a look at that from the frontal position. Again, just as you can see, as you're approaching impact there, as your left arm and left elbow become disconnected from the body, you see that little gap there. <coughs> and then as your left elbow is starting to work backwards, pulling that club a little bit too quickly on the inside. Um, so what we suggested there is we have a little obstacle just on the inside and as you're swinging the club down into the golf ball and approaching into that follow through position, you feel that your arms are working slightly away from your body um, and down your target line just a little bit more. Combine that with the correct rotation with your forearms and the correct club face aim at impact, you will get far more consistent um, shots and maintain a lot more control over that golf ball. So if we just compare that with McDonald here just as he's approaching impact you can see there as he's coming into impact swinging the club on a good path but as the club just works its way gradually back on the inside and you can see there as his forearms his right hand turns over the top of his left and you can see his arms there working down his target line just a little bit longer so they're not being pulled on the inside as we take him through a little bit longer at no point there do you see his left elbow working backwards and popping out through his side like you do with yourself. So we gave you a few drills to work on. Uh, we also did mention a couple of other things that I want you to work on before the next session as well. Um, but um, I look forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks. Uh, we can have a quick review of what we've done and also take it to the next step. If you've got any problems in the meantime, just give me a call um, or nip down to the driving range and um, grab my attention and we'll have a look at it. But uh, good luck with it, and I'll see you again soon.